One day, the Fat Controller went to see Thomas and Percy. He had something to say. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Thomas. There are some narrow gauge engines coming to Sodor, as my friend the Fin Controller arranged them to come and work here. That sounds like fun. I am very glad to hear that, Percy. Now off you both go, please. When Thomas and Percy arrived at the Blue Mountain Quarry, they thought it was very beautiful indeed. Hello, you must be Thomas and Percy. The Fat Controller has told a lot about you and all his engines, how really useful you both are. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I agree with Thomas. Thomas, and this is my very best friend Percy. It is a great pleasure to meet you both. We've heard all about you, Thomas. I hear you have a branch line of your very own, and you have coaches named Annie and Clarabelle. I also overheard there's a red engine called James, whose mean skull always colour. Yep. James can be troublesome sometimes, but he's a good friend of ours. Oh, I like the interesting looking funnel there, Green Engine. Well, thank you, Percy. It's a really special funnel, I must admit. We did make fun of it the first time, but soon realised it was useful at the end. Come along, everyone. We have some work to do. You too as well, Thomas and Percy. All oh, right, let's get to work. Shall we, Percy? Yes, Thomas. Thomas and Percy got to work with the little engines and they were having a wonderful time. Unfortunately, Percy wasn't looking where he was going. Then suddenly, he had an accident. <laughs> Goodness gracious me, Percy. What on earth happened to you? Oh dear. I think I was going a bit too fast, and that's why I fell off the rails. Well, little engine, you're in luck. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Um, by the way, what's your name? Tony. My name is Percy. I best be off. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> um, Scarlui, how are things going so far for you? All good, Reneus. I am so happy to be working here 
because I feel like I'm a really useful engine. Reneus, Mr. Percival said there's a delivery for you to take to Brendam Docks. Could you do that? Absolutely. Soon Reneus was on his way to Brendam Docks with his trucks. He was chugging along the line under the bridge and was about to go over it. Then suddenly there was a loud crack and he had to stop. What was that? Reneus saw that the bridge was breaking into pieces. Thomas saw the solution and thought, oh, Reneus is in trouble. I better go and rescue him now. Sorry, Reneus! I'm here to rescue you while the bridge is breaking. Thank you, Thomas. But you better hurry. It's really breaking. Well, little engines can do big things. They got out just in time. Thank you so much, Thomas. Thank you. No problem, Reneus. And let's be careful in future, shall we? Soon, all the engines gather round to talk about their day. Well, Thomas and Percy, you are a great credit to the day. I'm proud of you both. So am I. Especially that big iron train that came to Percy's rescue. That's Tony. I can't believe you rescued me from that breaking breach, Thomas. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to have some really useful lenses working on this weather today. Quite right. Do come back again soon. Thank you for coming. It was a pleasure. Little blue train, he's always there. Whenever you need a hand. If you need help with a situation, who comes into mind? He is the one, he is the one, he is the really useful engine that we adore. He is the one, he is the number one.